welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we continue exploring World Machine. Um, we start working now with the textures and uh, creating different type of surfaces for our terrains. So in previous tutorials, we look more on the concept how to use it combiners and color generated to create our own mixes. You can also achieve a similar effect with much less components. Again, a look on previous tutorials more as a concept to understanding how the color generators, how the masks and combiners work together to produce mixed environments. So in this one tutorial, we continue to creating uh, mixed terrains and we'll start apply sources and base it on the shape of our terrain as well on the isolated components inside our terrain. So we'll continue more accelerated. Um, the easiest way to actually work and with less components to apply noise or color separations randomness it is by just using purlin noise in this case we'll just use it one single and we're also going inside and we'll use it um, our colorizer and we'll just connect directly purlin noise to colorizer you can see right here we have it already very nice um, effect applied. We can change colors by selecting from already what we predefined or we can always go in and add a new. We worked before with uh, mappers and colors so it kind of should be already familiar. Just overall I want to show you instead creating um, combiners and everything you can also just create colorizer and connect to pearl and noise. So again we will use it um, combiners in this so I want to kind of a better understanding how they work together okay right here just example let's work right now on the shape of our terrain and what do we have it we have it our advanced Perlin set okay, let's go open to modify it and we'll just probably you know maybe leave about same size let's go to um, below so it's creating kind of nice effect like path out okay we'll leave it different um, elevations you now let's bring this maybe a little bit higher and we'll take our steadiness as well so I want to bring in because I want now create isolated objects inside which is bring um, we can separate them after. Okay, we leave it everything as default. Let's click OK. Now I want to isolate by creating separate layouts. So I want to take the mask and creating maybe some mountain around this. Okay, so to do this, we'll go select our permanent noise. We can go inside um, layout. Let's zoom out. And right here you can see we have our kind of create our square. So let's go increase maybe this slightly in size, you know, just create a little bit bigger. I may readjust after. Uh, what next I want to do, I want to add a new layout to this. So in the area where we have it, I'm going to create a circle. And just maybe increase on the middle. We have it fallout. Okay, let's go to use the breakout for this. Okay, we'll kind of add it in you know, just slightly decreasing roughness. Okay, as well, take this fallout and just shrink slightly. Overall, you can see it's kind of rough shape. This is what I want to apply to my purling noise. So we can go and select this directly to our map. So right here you can see on the map, we kind of isolated in creating some mountain effect. Okay, so next, if for example, I want to create this like mountain grid that will go around this area. So for this, I want to create another layout generator. So we'll go to create a new layout generator. And I'm going to just create a circle Let's create inside a little bit smaller. Okay, as well. 
just to reduce and we'll use it break up probably similar and I want invert actual loss values so what's happening now right here we have two layouts and I want to make them combine together so we'll use it combiner it's what we had before let's go select one and another one okay inside the combiner you can see we have a nice selection I want to set this to the minimum okay and we can adjust notice by set minimum I have it control how much of my middle one area that we created will increase or decrease in size so we'll just leave it for not all the way just a little bit lower and we can reconnect back to our pearl noise so right here we have a nice mountain with kind of on the middle going down also it's almost a valley maybe we'll retweak a little bit more but this is very rough shape at this moment okay so next I want just add um, some erosion effect to this okay so let's go ahead and reconnect we will switch obviously this will add more outputs different but for now I just want preview it and we can set um, channels so we have a little bit more effect pop up slightly rock hardness let's take this down because I want to enable over time just even bigger um, carry segment let's go to increase this as well if you ha have questions all what about this all settings um, does I do recommend for you to check the um, discovering world machine tutorials where we're going over all components so for the um, this tutorial I will skip some explanation what each of them does except if that directly will affect our result okay so we modify it at this moment we can go preview right here you can see we have it already create nice valley um, the next what I want to do actually um, for the shape for example I want to create something on a middle but I want to create from hard rock maybe something if I create a video game or any other ones I want to create valley closet so it's hard to come and on the middle maybe some rock where I can put a castle on top so something a little bit more um, isolated so for this one for purpose of this kind of tutorial I want to create different erosion type I don't want to just take a, and combine here so I'm going to create um, separately for this so for that one let's go to create another layout okay we'll go to right here we'll go create a new layout and on the middle I'm just going to create another circle not a very big one okay, we'll bring this a little bit down okay let's go use it break up and you know what maybe just slightly modified increase roughness so we can modify a little bit of this uh, effect see bring it a little bit closer I think that will work okay right here we have it our uh, middle mount okay of course next what I want to do it's going to not at all and create some erosion directly from our mountain right here you can see we have it single okay we'll go same let's go to say channel erosion but for this one I want actually create harder a little bit more distinguishing different as well as pop up rock hardness so we have a nice chance going around um, let's bring segment up okay and we also geological enable time and bring this to something around like this you can play around and try to maybe set different way but this way it's look slightly different and harder 
from what we had before. So this point, I want to take these two and combine them. So for this, we'll go ahead and start using um, combiner. Let's go to combiner right here. Okay, and let's select. So we take our first one, put on the top, and we'll take this one, connect to the second. Okay, as combining, we'll go to average, and we'll just maybe set to about 640, maybe just a little bit higher. Okay, here's come interesting part. If we increase resolution, and we preview what's happening in many times, you will notice right here in the middle, we start having clients. So our blending not always will work very well on the middle. So in uh, some cases, you want to blend a little bit better um, to the erosion what we have it at this point. And as example, you know, let's do these things. Let's go maybe just decreasing slightly more on this one. Okay, open, bring mountain, maybe like up. I just want to preview in this way so you can see sometimes right here this edge is sometimes you will see the problem. You want blend and best way to blend it's you want to take this area around and decrease height of this mountain. So for this we actually need to create a uh, blend, expand a little bit and using masks to do that. So let's do work with all these additional options and see how they will work. One of them we're going to use it is expander. Okay, so we'll go use the expander. Let's connect it. And you will notice in expander. Okay, let's open. We'll go to use the max. We'll use the hybrid. Okay. And let's pop up to 32. So you see how it's much expand. Also, I want to disable scale independent so you can see it's bulging a lot. So I create from this a bigger one. Overall, it will be make smoother mask. Imagine this is will be my mask area, which have it expand and smoother. So it will affect some other um, options. The next, let's go to use it blur. And I actually want to blur maybe not a lot, maybe about just slightly. Overall blur just helped me smooth out some of these edges to make smoother transition. And we'll see if you need to pop them in or otherwise. And also other things, because right now it's high and low, if I select and put as mask, what's happening, this area will be higher. So I need the inverse before I do apply as mask. So we'll go to inverse here. And at this point I can use this as a map so you can see how we applied already. Okay, let me go to preview here. Okay. And we'll also want to take this same mask and just add it to our combiner mask. At this time now when we have it mask, notice we do not affect anymore the middle part. So the middle is always staying more. So we're masking out our top, in this case, our main mountain that we created does not change its size. Okay, just as example, okay, let me go to disable and right now he watching, you see how our change. So if I increase my mountains on the side, my middle is decreasing size. So in this case, if we're using mask, I have the ability to just change my mountains around without affecting this area. This is a mask, it's what we're creating. It's very nice visually, but also provide you with information that you in the future we're going to use where we apply materials so we can isolate this middle part for our materials. Okay, let's um, just bring maybe mountain slightly higher. Click OK, preview. Okay, this is what we have so far.
again we isolated these areas and um, we're separating so let's I think the shape is almost done build so let's go and start to work on applying different materials in the next portion of the tutorial.